everybody and welcome back to another Dollar Tree haul with me, Margo. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get right into this haul. I'm going to start with the food and drink category. And I did buy these again, these Jet Puffs. I'm going to put these in little containers with lids and have these as a snack for the Easter egg hunt. One of the snacks. Um, I did find these. I've never seen these ones before. These are the Easter 4D gummy blocks. Very cute. So I did pick these up for the nieces. I'm going to put these in their baskets. I had seen the other ones. I had purchased the other ones before, but I had never seen the Easter ones. So I was glad I found those. I picked these up. I picked up two of these, the Oreo Cakesters. I know they have the Nutter Butter one, but I did pick these up for um, my son loves Oreos and one of the girls I work with loves Oreos, so I figured they can give those a try. I was shopping with my sister this weekend and we went to seven different Dollar Trees. Six of them I had never gone to before and it was nice. Um... We didn't really find too much, though. Although we went to seven Dollar Trees, the funniest thing is I was looking for tortilla chips. In those seven Dollar Trees, not one bag. My sister was amazed. She's like, I can't believe it. So I ended up going to Target because I had to pick up some milk also. So I did pick that up there. Anyways, my sister was saying that she had tried these before, the crispy jalapenos. And I had never tried these before, although these are probably great on a salad or even on, we like to do nachos and we'll put, you know, jalapenos on there. So we'll give this a try. And this Best Buy date is December 2022. Whoops. 2022. So, and it's a three ounce bag. We'll give it a whirl. Then I picked up these uh, mini sour carnival pops and these will go in my niece's uh, baskets and it'll go into one of the little pouches I had gotten for them to put candy in. These are also a repurchase. These are my favorites, Wisps, the cheddar. There's different flavors. Cheddar is my favorite though. I did find these, the lemon juice. This is by Leaping Leopard. And these are good until July 21st, 2023. And I believe it's eight fluid ounces. It is, it's eight fluid ounces that had the lemon and the lime. So I picked these up and I did pick them up because it's not something I use often but the best buy date is until 2023, so that's why I did pick it up. Pretty sure I'll use it before then. This is also a repurchase, but these flips, my husband loves white chocolate, so I picked these up for him. I love white chocolate also. My husband had asked me to pick up some chips, so I did get a few different kinds. Um, did get these bugles, and these ones are good until January 28th, 2023. And what size bag is this? It is 3.7 ounce, $1.25. I know I can get it cheaper. I'm sure Walmart has it for either 99 cents or under, but. So I did pick up these also, the Jacks. And these are 2.75 ounce and these are good till July 18th, 2022. They will be way gone by then. And I did pick up these Smart Fries, 2.5 ounce. And these are the Classic Sea Salt. And the Best Buy date is, it's definitely expired, okay. March 1st, 2022. I'm usually pretty good about checking these, but oh, that's okay. And then these ones are Best Buy July 4th, 2022, and it's the TGI Friday's Potato Skins Cheddar, Cheddar and Bacon. So, like I said, I can't wait to plant, and actually today when I'm done filming, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm starting all my seeds. 
I did pick up four more packs yesterday. I have the watermelon, the sugar baby. I'll tell you, one year we grew watermelons. They were so delicious. And this, our garden didn't do so well last year, but let's see what happens this year. This one is uh, peppers and their Grand Bell mix. So we'll give those a try. Then I did pick up some zucchini, summer squash, and butternut squash. They're calling it winter squash. But, so we'll do that today. We'll give it a whirl. And I believe this is the last item in the food category. And I, I dropped the can, but it's a cream of chicken. And when I make a chicken pot pie and I don't feel like making the sauce for it i cheat and use these it's good though it's good nobody complains i was so excited to find this sgx nyc salon graphics it's a, the peacemaker beachy texture spray i can't wait to try this and when i look this up at walmart no kidding 15 dollars for this i hope it's 15 dollars worth of uh excellency <laughs> so i'll try this and we'll see what happens and let's see oh i did find some more of these bubble snaps every time i find one that i don't have or has a new pattern on it i had never seen these with the cheetah prints on them so this side is cheetah print and then this side is just a solid white but again in the easter egg hunt prize bucket and here's another one with cheetah print, but this one has the pink instead of the brown in it. And again, the back is white. And I found a whale. I did not have a whale, so now we do. And it was a purple. There's, they had different color ones. Excuse me one minute. Okay. I'm back. So I did find these, the six uh, strips for ultimate white whitening dental strips. These are infused with coconut, coconut oil, and they have some out there that are infused with charcoal. I didn't find those, but I'm gonna give these a try. I've been using the, I think, Rem, Remrant, I think it is, the brushes, and so far, I mean, so good, but um, I, I definitely will try these also. Hopefully that works. I found this um, green jute twine. I was happy. I don't have the green. I just have the natural color. And does it say 180 feet? Let me see if I can take the plastic off of this so you can see the color a little bit better. But it's a color. I, I guess you could use this for Christmas. You can use it for anything. But um, this green you could definitely use. Okay, so it's not so easy to take off, but you can tell. And then I picked up these skewers. There's a hundred in the pack. I needed them for the points on them. So for the Easter egg hunt, I have the scratchy pads. And I originally bought these and thought maybe I can sharpen them, but that wouldn't be enough anyways. But I did find these, so I will use these. And I will just put this in my craft stash. And I also picked up two dream catchers for the girls. I'll put these in their baskets. This one is the rainbow. And I also picked up the unicorn. And they also had, I think, three different color moons. I want to say white, yellow, and pink, I believe. And then I picked up um, this. This is going to go in the Easter basket of the oldest niece. She loves cats. So I'm going to put this in her Easter basket as well. I picked this up for uh, one of my coworkers. She was looking for the Lavender Dream, the spray. So I found it and I picked it up for her. I picked up this love sign. And on TikTok, you guys know you've heard me talk about the bleaching for um, t-shirts. So I want to do this with the girls. And I did find this t-shirt for the oldest one. It's a Gildan. 
I love the color, it's beautiful. So what I wanna do is I wanna put this on here. Oops, it's getting caught without this. And I'll have the girls do this and we'll just spray the uh, bleach and water on here. But when you do that, take this template off right away and let it dry like that. Otherwise it's weird, but it starts to bleed. So we're gonna do that. I did get two of them, one for each girl. And I still have to get a t-shirt for the little one, but I'm sure I'll find one before they come back over. And then I told the girls that we would do some tie-dyeing. So I did find these white tank tops and they are by Fruit of the Loom. And they are $2.97 regular price. So we'll tie-dye these. And I told the girls we would get some white socks and tie-dye those. And here's the one for the older one. And then I picked up some really cute, like, um, what does it say? Shore living decor. So one of my um, girlfriends, her birthday was last Monday. And I had picked these up for her. She, she just absolutely loves the beach. But here's the three sand dollars. And they are made out of, I'm going to say like a ceramic. They're a little heavy. They're really pretty though. And I picked up this for her. The shell, galvanized shell. And I picked up this galvanized chalkboard and all along the edge is like um, shells and uh, starfish. So this came in square and they also had a round one like this. I picked up these two things to stake in her yard. This one is the blue with the shell and starfish. And it's just a garden stake. And then there is this one. It's like an orange gray. Oh my goodness. With the shell and the um, starfish. But these are very cute. Very cute. So hopefully she likes that. And I picked up, whoops. Okay. And I picked up two of these, the signs for beaches. This one says, the beach is calling and I must go. I really like this one. There was, oh my God, like four or five different ones to pick from. So, and then I picked up this one. It says, gone to the beach. Very cute. So then I picked up these crosses. I can't quite remember. I think it might have been Jamie, the DIY guy, or I'm not sure actually, but I was watching a DIY and they take wood pieces like this and put it, I mean, this is not a good example because it's got a hole in it, but you would glue it to the back like that. And then this could stand. So if you want one of these signs to stand instead of hang, this is what you would get. Something like this. So you put it on here and let me see, let me try the, let me try the other one. Um, oops, right here. So this one you wouldn't see. Again, like I said, you glue it to the back and that way it has a stand and you could just put it down somewhere. So. I'll try that. I did buy two of these and I'll put them in with my craft supplies. And then last but not least, I picked up this dish rack. It's for um, plates to put in. And one of my coworkers had asked me to pick this up for her if I had seen one. And I did, so I picked it up. So that is it for this Dollar Tree haul. Let me give you some prices. So what I paid was $58.50. This is before taxes. And had I gone to Walmart, Amazon, Target, any of those other stores, it would have been $142.30. And that is a savings of $83.80. And again, that's why I love Dollar Tree. So guys, until next time, have a good one. Bye.